So now I'd just like to find out more about the Board of Film Censors' role. Okay, what role does it play in a you know, film classification? So my question is, how does the Board of Film Censors see its role now? Okay, and in the future, in terms of film classification? Yeah, especially with the case of information flow of the internet. Presently, we are already doing a lot mm. of uh, consultation, mm. and 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 I think we will even do more consultation now that you know that there, there is all kinds. There are all kinds of content being available. Yeah, so I can imagine VJ and his team will be even more busy than usual. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking, right? Can time and resources be channeled to educate people instead of how they consume information? Uh, public education yeah. is. Uh, an extremely important thing. Yeah. Um, however, it's not something that's going to be an either-or situation. Mm -hmm. Public education is not something that would replace um, classification. Um, um, yeah, I was just wondering, if, mm -hmm. if we educate people properly to think for themselves, yeah. does that mean that film classification can actually be more relaxed? Mm, that's unlikely because mm -hmm. the classification system actually gives information to the public mm -hmm. on a film that they have not yet seen. So it tells them um, what is the likely age category mm -hmm. uh, for that film. Mm -hmm. And it provides them with um, consumer advice as mm -hmm. well um, as to what might cause a film to get that rating. Now that's something that parents depend on uh, in determining whether a film is appropriate or inappropriate for their children. So that's something that's, that's important. We are currently doing... Uh, quite a bit of public education in the sense that uh, we have this a day with the BFC on a monthly basis. Um, so we have uh, members of the public, including students, teachers, parents, coming to us and um, uh, sitting with us um, for half a day <coughs> where we present to them on how we do classification. And then at the same time, they will watch a film and then they will try to classify the film. So, at, so they will understand um, the, the difficulties faced or the issues faced in classification. So can I say it's a two-way process? Yes, yeah. Okay. Now, but still, the Board of Film Censors uh, is still deemed as strict and conservative in some ways. So do you feel misunderstood? Yes, yeah, so in <laughs> fact, we, we have evolved over the years, okay. you know, with the introduction of the uh, film ratings in 1991, mm -hmm. we have um, moved and um, introduced even more ratings, for example, in 2004, mm -hmm. we, we introduced the M18 rating as well as consumer advice, mm -hmm. and consumer advice, I think, is, is very useful, mm -hmm. um, because it actually provides information about what the f uh, content of the film is. So before you even go to watch a film, for example, mm -hmm. for a parent, um, he or she will find it useful to, to know um, so that he or she can, can uh, supervise uh, his or her child um, properly. And with the M18 category, um, we have actually allowed more viewing options for the younger adults. Previously, there was just a 16 or a 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now with the 18, it bridge. The, the gap between these two ratings and as a result the members of the public uh, have more viewing options. I see. So VJ, would you say that the Board of Film Censors is more liberal now? As a yeah, absolutely. Because um, prior to 1991, mm -hmm. a film could not be shown in Singapore unless it was PG in rating. Yeah. And, um, so, and the vast majority of films that would currently be rated M18, NC16, mm -hmm. even NR21, mm -hmm. Would not have been would not have been possible to cut it to such an extent that it would come down to a PG rating. Mm. So a lot of films just couldn't be shown in Singapore. Um, and then the floodgates opened in 1991 because a lot more films could now be seen. Mm -hmm. um, and with the the tweaking of the classification system over the years, yes. the consumers really have a lot more choices mm -hmm. um, in terms of what films they can watch. Uh, while at the same time meeting that other objective that they have, which is to protect the young um, from content that could be objectionable to them. The Board of Film Census can be seen as an enhancement of the public education system, aiding people to make informative choices. If you have any comments about the role of BFC, share with us on our Razor TV forum.